Hi everyone. Welcome to Style 3D channel. In this video, you will learn how to do the pattern grading. So let's get started. First, open the file. Under the Measure menu, click on Measure. Click on Edit Grading. Add the required sizes. Double-clicking with the left mouse button allows you to set the needed sizes. Right-click on a size to set it as the base. Here, we set L as the base. Click on the Edit Grading tool. There are two ways to edit grading. The first way is through the keyboard. Use the arrow keys to edit grading. Click on a points for edit grading. Enter the required value here for the vertex variation and press Enter. Hold the Shift key and select multiple points to edit grading. Press the arrow key while holding the Shift key to edit grading on multiple points. Press the up arrow key on the keyboard, Edit Grading. Click on a points for Edit Grading, and change the vertex variation here. Hold the Shift key, and select the shoulder width. Press the right arrow key, and the up arrow key on the keyboard, to edit grading. The same applies to bust circumference, and waist circumference. Change the vertex variation. Hold the Shift key, and select the points for Edit Gradings. Press the right arrow key on the keyboard to edit grading to the right. The second way to edit grading is by entering the vertex variation value in the vertex variation column to edit grading. Select points for edit gradings. Enter one in the x-axis vertex variation column. Press enter to edit grading to the right. Select the lower hem. Enter one in the x-axis. Enter minus 0.5 in the y-axis and press enter to edit grading to the right and down. Select front graphic. Select back center graphic. Enter minus 0.5 in the y-axis and press enter to edit grading downward. The sleeves are the same. Select points for edit grading. Enter 0.5 in the y-axis. Edit grading upward. Right sleeve width. Enter 0.6 in the x-axis. Press Enter to edit grading to the right. Left sleeve width. Enter minus 0.6 in the x-axis and press Enter to edit grading to the left. Right sleeve cuff. Enter 0.5 in the x-axis. Enter minus 0.5 in the y-axis to edit grading to the right and downward. Left sleeve cuff. Enter minus 0.5 in the x-axis and minus 0.5 in the y-axis. Edit grading to the left and downward. The cuffs are the same. Enter 0.5 in the x-axis to edit grading. Here. Click. Follow other vertices. Perform auto-edit grading. The sleeves are the same. Click to follow other vertices. It will automatically edit grading based on the data of the upper and lower points. This is very convenient. This is placing markers with the same vertex variation. So, how do you operate with markers of different vertex variations? Let's start by selecting points for edit gradings. Here, for sizes from L to XL. Enter 1 in the x-axis. For XL to 2XL, enter 1.5 in the x-axis, and press Enter to edit grading. This way, markers with different vertex variations are placed. The y-axis and other operations are the same. We won't go into further detail. Alright, let's set the vertex variation. Back to the original same vertex variation. Press Enter. Next, let's set up avatars that match the clothing sizes. Click on Avatar. Click on Edit Avatar. Here, we see L size with a height of 170. Chest 86, waist 64. We'll set XL size. Height 170. 
Chest 90. Waist 68. Click Add. Save XL size. Similarly, for 2XL size with a height of 175. Chest 94. Waist 72. Add 2XL size. Save. Let's return to edit grading. Click on Avatar Grading. Set clothing sizes to match the avatar sizes. Alright, click Edit Grading. Now it's L size. Press the space key to simulate. Click XL size. Simulate. Click 2XL size. Simulate. Next, let's add graphics to the clothing. Click on the asset. Click on graphic. Left click to place it in a suitable position. Edit the graphic. Open graphic support for edit grading. Here, you can change the graphic size for each size. Set it according to your needs. Adjust the graphic. Click on Graphic Edit Grading. Here, you can see the graphics placement points. Then left-click on the corresponding points on the pattern. These points on the pattern determine the distance between the graphics placement points. You can click here or here. Let's click on the collar center point. Position it according to your specific needs. On the right sidebar, you can adjust the positions of the graphics placement points. This is the center point. The center point is at the center of the graphic. Top left positions the point at the upper left corner of the graphic. Top right moves the point to the upper right corner. Similarly, bottom left, bottom right. You can also adjust the placement of placement points along the x-axis. The same goes for the y-axis. Here, we'll adjust it to the upper middle. Here, you can. Adjust the graphics position. Let's take a look. Change the x-axis here to 1. Press Enter. The graphic moves to the right. Let's change the y-axis to minus 1 and press Enter. The graphic moves upward. Adjust based on your actual needs. Once you achieve the desired effect. Even though each size has a different graphic size. Without adjusting the graphic position. For each size, the distance between these two placement points is the same. Let's first return the graphic to its original position for measurement. L size. The distance between the points for edit grading on the pattern and the graphic placement point is 2.8 centimeters. Let's now check for XL size. The distance between the points for edit grading on the pattern and the graphic placement point is also 2.8 cm for XL size. For 2 XL size, it's still 2.8 cm. Let's go back to L size. So, when placing markers on the graphic, the graphic placement points and the pattern's points for edit gradings are crucial. You must position them according to your requirements and desired effect. Now let's dress the avatar in the clothing.
Adjust the clothing to the appropriate position. Perform simulation. XL size. Simulate. 2XL size. Move the clothing to the appropriate position. Perform simulation. OK. In the Tools menu, click on Style Review. Here, you can see the clothing's fit on the avatar for each size. We can also generate snapshots. That's it guys, and I hope some of the tips will help your modeling work. If you like what we do, please liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in next video. Goodbye.